So we are looking at perfect competition in short run. Perfect competition in short run is there are no barriers to enter and exit the market. Yep. And all firms are producing identical goods. There is perfect knowledge among buyers and sellers, which is important to understand. So what we are saying is, let's say in the market, we've got the market demand curve, market supply curve, where they intersect, we have the market clearing price, say is five pounds. Yeah. And market clearing quantity, say Q1. Firm in the short term can sell as many goods as it want on market price, which is five pounds. So that is the market demand curve for the firm. And this is the long run average cost of the firm. And let's say it's marginal cost curve, and let me label them as well. Average cost curve, marginal cost curve. The firm can sell as many goods as it wants at the market price. So the price is equal to average revenue equals to marginal revenue. We know a profit maximizing firm will produce and sell where MC equals MR, which is the point over here where the MC curves intersects the MR curve in the firm. So what we'll do is we'll draw the curve from here. And let's say the firm is selling 100 units at that point. And the firm is making a profit five and four which is this rectangle what type of a profit is it is it normal profit or super normal profit mm -hmm. no nope, it's super normal profit because mm -hmm. at this point the average revenue which is at five pounds is greater than your average cost which is four pounds so mm -hmm. a pound per unit and if it's selling 100 units it's 100 pounds okay so at market price so in short run at market price of pound five the firm is making a super normal profit of pound five minus pound four times 100 equals to 100 pound. Now, because this firm is making this super normal profit, the red right triangle, what will other firms do? Will they enter the market in pursuit of super normal profits? Mm -hmm. uh, Why do you think they are able to enter the market? Because there are lots of sellers. No, oh. but <laughs> what could prevent them from entering the market, which yeah. is not there? Uh, I don't know, copyright? Copyrights, yeah, because that would be a barrier, isn't it? As there are no barriers to enter and exit the market. I've made a spelling mistake there. The market, let's just... Yep, that looks better. Because of the, uh, there are no barriers to enter and exit the market, and there is perfect knowledge. They know what it takes to make those goods, doesn't it? Between buyers and sellers, and uh, identical goods. So that's why what they'll do is they'll enter the market. When new sellers enter the market, what will happen to the supply curve? Um, 
it will become more elastic. Or it'll shift to the right? Oh, yeah. Because there are new people, new firms entering the market, isn't it? So. New firms enter the market, shifts the supply curve to the right. right. And this will drop the price. Let's say it drops the price less than the average cost. Let's say it drops to two pounds. When the new firms enter in, it drops to The average cost is four pounds, isn't it? Yeah, but the price has dropped to two pounds. So are the firms making profit or are they making loss? Yes. So what will the firms do? Will they stay in the market or they exit the market? Exit the market. And why do you think they are able to exit the market? Because there are no barriers to exit. There are no barriers to exit, isn't it? So. color this differently all right so let's say over a period of time the firms are able to move to a curve s3 where the market price is equal to the lowest average cost possible which let's say is about 350 New firms enter the market and push from S to S2. Loss making firms will exit the market, so I'll put this down over here. Loss making firms exit the market and let's say they push S3 to uh, pushes S2 to S3, yeah, okay. Now, supply from Q1 moved on to Q2 when it came down to supply curve, right, to the S2, so from here. And then when the loss-making firms exited the market, it moved back from Q2 to Q3. Just make it look a bit more tidy. Because the firm is getting a less price now, it's getting 3.5. The individual firm over here will actually produce at a new output instead of 100 at 80. market is in equilibrium over a period of time where supply and demand will equal to give a normal profit where average revenue is equal to average cost so if we look over here this has moved down from 5 to 350 so it's moved down from here to there, uh, 350, yeah. And what's happening is the firm, the individual firm we spoke about, so will reduce production from 100 to 80 units and make normal profits 
for your new. And we can say in long run the profits have been competed away. Because the final price is 350, isn't it? So that is what they are getting as a price, and that is what they are uh, incurring as an average cost. AC equals to AR.